Arsenal 3, Manchester United 2, emotions running high, fans are angry, Ten Hag is not pleased. I see on my socials, fans are blasting Ten Hag, insulting him, throwing insults at him at the players. The players are useless, Ten Hag is useless, he killed the game, he sold the game out. Fans are really angry, but we all need to chill, calm down and understand why we lost this game to Arsenal. In the first few minutes of the game, Arsenal were really hot, they flooded our half. But after, after then, we got into the game gradually. Our first scored a good goal. It became 1-1. It became 2-1. It became 2-2. Then, um, of course, Edin Ketia got the winning, the winning goal. But Saka's goal was awesome. Martinez finally got his goal as a Manchester United player, which was very good for him also. But the quality of these two teams are really different. Checking the bench of Manchester United and the bench of Arsenal, there's no way we would have won that game because when you are drawing 2-2 two, two, and you need super players come up from the bench to do well. Arsenal had trust, Arsenal had um, uh, um, Smith Rowe. They had other players in the bench that could come in and do a job for them. But what do we have? We had Ganacho, we had Pelestri, we have Maguire, we had Fred. And of course, maybe if he had made the subs earlier, something might have happened. But I wouldn't dwell on that. He made the decision, he's the manager, he made the decision. And he chose to bring down all those players pretty late. And that's what happened. But we'll talk about the performance, performance of the players in the pitch. We allowed Arsenal to press us for too long, give them all the ball. And it was 45 minutes straight in the second half, they were just having at us, going at us, going at us, going at us. And of course, in that kind of situation, it must surely result in a goal one way or the other if you cannot hold on for too long, luckily. But unluckily, we couldn't hold on for too long and they got the winning goal. Edin Ketia, superb, on superb form, scored two goals against us. And what do you expect? I wouldn't blame our defence too much. We are strong defensively. Melissa Martinez, his defence and he also scores goals. But of course, people say he was, he's too short, he's bad in the air, but he scored a heading goal anyway. Let's leave that aside. But in defence, they had, they had had very good saves in the game. He was active, he was, he was very good. Our defence wasn't a problem, but the midfield is the problem. McTominay and LGC were overrun in the midfield by Pate, um, Zaka and Odega. They were overrun in that midfield. And the games are lost and won in the midfield. And we had to lose that game today because we were overall in the midfield. And of course, we got two goals, but in the midfield battle, we lost. Because when Casemiro is not in the squad, that midfield is in total shambles. And up front, we are a bit sloppy up front also. Anthony had Anthony had a good first half, but second half he was so bad, honestly. Anthony really needs to improve his game, show us a, a bit something different from what he's showing us now. We probably need some time off uh, on the bench or something. But of course, there's nobody to replace him, so he has to start. Rashford was okay, got the goal. His performances was good. With Vegas, his link-up play was very good. His pressing was good. But generally, yeah, he's still new. Anyway, he's still new. I'm not expecting so much from him because if Masha was fit, he would be on the bench. So I'm not expecting any miracles from him. But he was decent. But going back to our transfer strategy, it's, it's shit. We wanted Felix, we wanted Gapo. Now we're getting with Vegas. The difference is so clear. If we had gotten these other two players, it would probably be better because Felix and Gapo can bench Marshall, but Vegas cannot. So if Marshall was fit, he would have started. But since Marshall is an injury merchant, he's not going to be starting a lot of games. And we have to be relying on with Vegas, Ganacho, the Elangas, and the Pelestris to come on. And also Sancho, if Sancho comes back to also help us and move it. But check this out Arsenal sits first on the Premier League table. But they are going to complete their third signing of this January transfer window this week. Meanwhile, we sit on third and we have just made one loan deal. 3 million loan deal. Meanwhile, that's now already to spend 100 million on Modric. But since that didn't work, they are spending they are spending some of that money on Trossard, a new centre-back and in, I think a new midfielder or so. Just look at the commi commitment level from somebody that's sitting first on the Premier League table. For us that were on the third, there is no ambition shown by this club to back everything hard for him to finish a lot better in that table. But it's back to the training ground for everything hard and his boys. We have a lot of games coming up very soon. I think we're going to be playing a game in every three to four days from now until March. But don't forget to like this video, leave a comment in the comment section, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, and see you on the next one. Don't forget to see that United, the one stop for everything Manchester United.